we embark on this journey to develop our competency in energy management. And we have devoted attention towards imbuing energy management practices for our businesses. Transiting to energy efficient operations means that we have to challenge the status quo. Having an inquisitive mindset to question what more can be done is crucial in our energy journey. This works together with our use of technology to help us better monitor and visualize energy management. With technology on our side, we can analyze data to identify improvement opportunities. We must adopt a plan, do, check, act approach for continuous improvement. We can achieve more together. All of what we have done would not be possible without teamwork. It's now time to take action and get everybody involved to kickstart this journey. And in the big picture, every action counts towards our charge to combat climate change in the hopes of a better tomorrow. Climate change affects our world. In HP, we believe it creates a positive change uh, in our action and there's really urgency to act now. The target we set for ourselves is by 2025, 60% of renewable energy will be used. We are also targeting to work with suppliers to reduce 60% of greenhouse gas emission. We implemented energy submetering data analytics into our operations. That allows us to monitor you know, which equipment is actually energy efficient and which ones are not. We attained the ISO 50001 certification for energy management system. Employees are really, really excited about how to be efficient in energy management. 89% of our employees tell us that we are socially and environmentally responsible. Now that really gives them the drive to come to work every day and that's good for the motivation. It also uh, impacts our bottom line, so cost is actually reduced while making a sustainable impact to the environment. I personally believe that it just takes us the small steps to get things going. Now our stakeholders, customers and suppliers alike are really passionate about doing more for the environment and they expect HP to take the lead. That will allow us to do more with less impact to the environment. Now, Sarush is a company of over 100 years old, um, has been family owned that entire time. So with that comes a um, commitment to community, commitment to family, um, and a commitment to the environment. In Singapore, our goal is to reduce the overall amount of energy by 8% for 2019. Yeah, so one of the big projects that we uh, finished up in 2018 was our uh, K6 project. We changed some of the chillers that we use in both our production and also in our office heating and cooling. We're the first in Singapore to use this technology. We have been uh, recognized for that through our community in the biomedical business park. Each day, teams meet at, at huddle boards um, to discuss what it got achieved yesterday, what needs to get achieved today, and it's a forum we utilize for all types of communication, and that's one area that sustainability is a method of communication to our employees. So we have a monitoring system, and we're looking at what the energy consumption is, essentially real time. So we're continually looking at the data and figuring out how do we run our business better to deliver efficiency in our energy usage. It needs a strong management commitment, strong focus. Each action, no matter how small it is, is going to have a positive impact. When you run a large-scale project with large capital investment, it also gets great visibility for the site. Um, so all of the employees that are involved in the project and those not involved in the project but know about it begin to learn more. And, and I think people start to take that and then think about what can they do in their own lives at home uh, to have a positive impact on the environment.